The European Union has obviously been mired in a very deep uh, economic crisis for five years. This crisis is largely internal and economic in nature, but this book argues that the crisis is also beginning to have a broader uh, global impact as well. It's beginning to change the way that the EU relates with the broader international system and change the way that other powers around the world uh, interact with the European Union. The crisis has accelerated the EU's relative decline across many indicators. Uh, many people would also say it's left the EU's image around the world uh, very much compromised. It's more difficult for the EU today to sell itself as a harmonious and successful model for managing uh, interdependence. Uh, but, but the book also points out that the crisis has been so severe that it does seem to be um, pushing European governments into getting their act together in the foreign policy uh, sphere. One effect of the crisis is that it's made European governments much more geoeconomic in their thinking. They're becoming uh, much more organized in pursuing their commercial and economic interests around the world. Uh, this is perfectly natural and probably a good thing, but the challenge is to make sure that governments don't do that in a way that cuts across uh, European unity or support for the basic principles of the multilateral um, trading um, uh, regime. To some extent, there are some concerns that the way that some governments are pursuing their economic diplomacy uh, may be risking uh, undermining some of these core principles over the longer term.